Whoa! <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah, a bit of a stall at the top. Um, so this is my Pug Electric. The last time I flew this here, if you saw the video, you might have heard me mention that I was having to use quite a lot of up elevator. That was the first time I'd flown this in light conditions, and it's light conditions today. So what I've done, I've got um, uh, now a 180 milliamp hour battery, 2S, and the motor I've now changed to a 5 gram instead of the 10. So it's actually down to under 110 grams, it's about 109 now. Yes, this time. <laughs> Bit of a stretch up. Okay, let's have one more launch on this battery and then I'll swap it. I've ended up having to put another propeller on this and it's uh, obviously totally out of balance, whereas the original one I had on there was quite good. Okay, I avoided a stall that time, so that's pretty good. Obviously a bit of lift out there. Right, I've come out of it. This little uh, glider has been very successful, to be honest, because I've been getting some quite impressive flights from it. And today's more impressive than the other day because it's not sort of monster thermals. That was quite a nice, uh, nice little flight, that. Right. For not landing in the prickly things like that but there we go i'm going to pop the other battery in have a few more flights so today was really about just testing the uh the other setup which i'm happy with right here we go new battery <laughs> Oh, no stall at all that time, that's nice. I think it's powered more appropriately now, isn't it, than before? <laughs> I mean, it's like a rocket, which was a laugh, but... 
from the point of view of um, unnecessary weight and it pushed the CG far too forward um, I think this is the right thing the um, wing loading is works out about three and a quarter ounces per square inch square foot isn't it? actually not square inch 